So when it comes to storage, storage is a really big deal. You know, how much stuff can I save? Uh, how many videos can I save? How much music can I save? So on and so forth. Now, you know, when computers first came out, don't quote me, but I want to say one of the first computers only had like either 512 megabytes or kilobytes. And pretty much it was like nobody's ever going to need more space in that. Nobody's ever going to need more space in that. But now that we got uh, HD movies, we got uh, video games, we got all this different stuff, you need more and more space. So most phones now are at least 60 to 128 gigs, right? So we said that we were talking about kilobytes and megabytes, but most phones now have way more space on your actual cell phone. And then most PCs and laptops have at least 500 to a terabyte, if not more. So, but uh, most uh, PCs and laptops, you're going to be hard pressed to find a new PC or laptop without 500 gigabytes of space minimum because but like I said, everything going on and file size is getting so much bigger. If you have anything less than that, you're going to run out of space really fast. So real simple, going down the line, the smallest unit of data or the smallest storage unit is going to be bits, right? There's eight bits in a byte. There's 1,024 bits, excuse me, 1,024 bytes in a kilobyte. 1,024 kilobytes in a megabyte, 1,024 megabytes in a gigabyte, 1,024 gigabytes in a terabyte, and then 1,024 terabytes in a petabyte. So we also have zettabytes, but you don't have to worry about that now. But terabytes um, is pretty much what you're going to see now as far as for home computing. Uh, if you have a petabyte, I mean, hey, you can do what you want to, but if you have a petabyte, that's kind of doing... A ridiculous something that's doing a lot especially if you just there's movies and stuff like that but hey who knows like I said with the more higher resolutions with the more in-depth graphics with the bigger file sizes maybe a petabyte one day is gonna be no big deal but right now it's still pretty impressive right um, but right now a terabyte should be um, a couple terabytes because um, the laptops that I have, most of them are all have a terabyte. And then the PC that I have has three terabytes. And that's doing pretty good. But like I said, you know, I have external drive and stuff like that. that I You can definitely fill up a terabyte pretty easy, right? Pretty easy. So over time, if you don't delete stuff, if you're not paying attention, you can definitely uh, fill that up. But um, this is pretty much just the from the smallest to the biggest storage units how big so we start from bits and go all the way up to petabytes okay and uh if you're in the course we're actually going to go through um, a practice quiz to drill this home um, to make sure that you fully get um, what you need to get if you're watching this on youtube no big deal just make sure that you are aware of these different sizes if you knew this great um, if it's a refresher for you, no big deal. If you've never seen it, just make sure that your drill is in your head. But like I said, if you're in the course, which you should be, um, make sure that you drill this um, down pretty good. Okay? All right, now we're going to talk about throughput. So throughput is important when we're talking about internet, especially um, with what we're going through as far as uh, the C word. Um everybody or a lot of people had to transition working from home and also getting educated from home so your internet speed was super important um, if you were using a, a kilobit uh, internet I feel sorry for you because that's actually like dial-up internet and it's pretty slow and most most websites is gonna take forever for those to load so just understand the throughput is pretty much how fast data can travel all right so how fast data can travel all right so how fast it takes for something to be processed right so we got megabits per second and we got gigabits per second now the internet connection that you're probably using right now is megabits per second when we get into the gigabit speeds then we're talking about fiber all right so most of the time and terabit terabit speed is super crazy fast right um in local neighborhoods you're not gonna really find that um, you can find uh, gigabit speeds. Um, it's not as wide as um, megabits, but newer neighborhoods and stuff like that um, have gigabit speed 
internet but for the most part most of you guys are probably using megabits per second which which is pretty fast which is fast enough um the internet that i'm using at my home um and in my office is not the office no, at the office it is gigabit. No, I think about it. at the office it's gigabit, but um, right now I'm at home. Uh, it's a uh, megabits, right? So uh, you got gigabit, super fast. Uh, terabit is just that's, that's just pretty much soon as you before you even think about damn clicking it, it's an already popped up on your screen. It's just lightning crazy fast. Okay. All right. So last but not least, processing speed. So let's say um, sometimes it's kind of hard to figure out, damn, what kind of computer do I need? So we figured out the storage, okay? We figured out, okay, probably 500 gigabytes to a terabyte, preferably a terabyte of storage. What's the next biggest thing? So the next biggest thing is gonna be processing speed of your CPU. If you have a CPU that is measured in megahertz, that's a really slow processor, right? So we wanna make sure that it's in gigahertz. The more gigahertz, the faster the processing speed, all right? Megahertz, no bueno. Gigahertz, great, but we wanna make sure as many gigahertz as possible, um, pretty much so it'll be sustainable, right? So it's gonna be good right now, and then as new technology comes out, as new things come out, as you're trying to add stuff to your laptop or your PC, it'll be able to handle all those extra processes. But at the same time, I don't want you spending 30 grand on a damn laptop. Um, but just make sure it has enough gigahertz to do whatever you're trying to accomplish. All right, gang. So if you are inside the course, we're about to go deeper into this, a deeper dive. If you're not inside the course, shame on you. Head over to itmasterkey.com and enroll inside of our IT Fundamentals course. We have IT Fundamentals, A+, Net+, and Security+. But since we're focusing on this, um, we want to talk about you enrolling inside the ITF uh, fundamentals course it's a great deal it's affordable um and like i said if this isn't enough for you you get all the lectures and we go a little bit deeper over there uh, make sure that you comment like and subscribe and other than that i'll see you in class